as we all know, a lot of people work really hard in the community and give a lot of time of themselves. And so I think it's really important that we have a, a celebration evening like we have tonight to really recognise and thank them very much for all the hard work that they've been doing, not only last year, but for many years. And as I say, they'll be truly recognised tonight. There's 26 different awards. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of different people out there in the community that we need to celebrate. Uh, young people, old people, people who are working for charity and volunteers. We're a big part of the community, a lot of people work in our, our business here in Scunthorpe and so it's only, only right and only natural that we'd want to support these awards. I think it's really important for North Lincolnshire. This celebrates the community champions, the people that are really making a difference in, in North Lincolnshire. I've just been talking to a lot of the nominated um, personnel and the, the champions that have come tonight. And it's amazing the number we recognise from the communities we serve and are actually involved in. And they're making a tremendous difference, both for young and old people. Making everyone around her more positive. She's caring and patient towards the students and everyone is grateful for the help and hard work she's so willing to give. Well, I think this is, um, this is right in the middle of the values of our company. I think the relationship Tardis Steel has with its community is really important, not just to the company, but to the individuals and the community. We've just launched an initiative called Cast Iron Communities, and where we're allowing our employees uh, one day a year to volunteer for um, a, a cause of their choice where they can help and support the community. So this is a really good fit for us. Please welcome to the stage Sunil Kapil. I think it's really important that anybody that operates a business in a local community should uh, take the time and make the effort to support uh, uh, things that are going on in the community. I think it's important to recognise uh, these people, as we are doing tonight, who are making a contribution to the community, because I think without people like this, our community would be a poorer place. Scunthorpe and District Saturday League. I believe there are a lot of unsung heroes within the town who have given decades of their time freely, who don't get that recognition. I'm thinking of local sports teams, um, coaches, etc. And this is an opportunity, I think, for the town and the local authority to recognise those type of people and thank them for the work they do. And the winner of the Young Outstanding Achievement Award is Kate Patterson. I think they should be well supported by local businesses doing the same thing back in North Links Council up and um, ensuring that we as businesses promote that sort of behaviour within the community. Nice to see a big crowd in. <laughs> and the winner of the Young Mill Sports Achiever of the Year goes to Nathan Tolkien. I thought it was amazing, met some great people and uh, there's a lot of amazing things going on in, in, this, in this county and it just op opens up my eyes to see what, what other, other people are doing and it's great things that are just happening. Everything's just gone so smoothly and it, it's been really inspirational to see particularly some of the young people that have won awards as well. I mean I feel very honoured that I've won an award but to see some of the other things that's going on in the area as well is just incredible. Absolutely wonderful, you know, to feel that all these years service is given by the four officers that we've now achieve something we can uh, look up to. Um, I really wasn't expecting it. I, f I felt really proud and it summed up my athletic season to win the awards. And this season I competed at the Olympic Stadium and um, for a trial event for the Olympics and then I went on and I, I gained my first England best. I came second at the English schools and then in um, August, top of my season, I put a couple of metres on my PB, in, which ranked me third in the UK for under-17 discus. The winner of the Adult Arts Heritage Achiever of the Year Award is Sue Hollingworth. 
it's been fantastic and I feel that it's for everybody that was involved in Cycle Song um, this summer those that wrote the piece Ian McMillan and Tim Sutton the 1500 people actually performed in it the Scunthorpe Cooperative Junior Choir Jill Vickers who encouraged me to keep going and just everybody that volunteered to be part of it so it's for all of us really and the winner of the outstanding contribution to a safer community is Francis Blair. Uh, the work I do is I work with people with alcohol and substance misuse, uh, work together to gain a better life for the people that come in to seek our help. In our eyes, everyone nominated tonight is a winner already for all that they do on a daily basis to make their community a better place in which to live. Thank you.